of you who follow my website or watch my videos on YouTube, you may know that I don't box myself into a linear hitting uh, aspect or a rotational hitting aspect. I think the swing happens in a very certain way, a good swing, and uh, it's a little bit of both getting energy from both linear and rotational. But if I had to stick myself into one philosophy, I would say I lean a lot more towards rotational hitting. So in this video, I'm going to de debunk the two most heard arguments for linear hitting, which are you're going to be a lot shorter to the ball or quicker to the ball, and you're going to create backspin, which backspin will create more distance on your hits. So first of all, let's start with you're going to be shorter to the ball. Yes, you're correct. If you're taking a linear swing, your back path to the ball is going to be a lot shorter. For example, a linear swing, let me move this up here. A linear swing, you're going to start here and you're going to take this back straight from here, A to B, right? A to B. So yeah, you're going to be a lot faster. Here's where the problem comes in. If you're swinging that way, A to B, you're only in the zone, the hitting zone, for a fraction of the second. You're going to be out of the zone, in the zone, out of the zone. Your timing has to be so perfect to make contact with this ball that it's not worth it being that short, okay? So then, once you say that, once you debunk that myth, they say, oh, well, if you have a rotational swing, you're too long. I disagree. I think you can be still short to the ball with a rotational swing. You can still have, get on playing with the ball early, but still be quick to it. Meaning, you don't want to cast your hands when you've got a rotational swing. So if I'm here, getting on playing doesn't mean letting your hands get away from your body. You can still stay short to the ball and in. So when I'm starting here and I get on playing with that ball, I can still be short to it here. Right? I'm staying inside of the ball. I'm not going out and around. Everything's not getting extended and out and around. I don't want to do that on a rotational swing. That's not a true swing playing, getting on plane with the ball. I want to stay in. I want to stay short and in. And I can do that with a rotational swing. I can stay inside this ball and still get a, put a good hit on it. Okay? So now let's talk about the backspin issue. So first of all, in a linear swing, if we're swinging down here, if we square that ball up, where's the ball going to go? Ground ball. So timing is already hard in a linear swing. So how are you going to create backspin consistently on a linear swing? It's very hard. Very hard to do. If you do create backspin, yeah, the ball might go a little bit further. But again, your timing has to be so perfect that it's hard to do. The best hitters in the game don't do it this way because it, the timing has to be perfect. And those guys have impeccable hand-eye coordination and timing in their swings. And they don't swing that way. So... Why not swing with a rotational swing? Because guess what? You can still create backspin in a rotational swing. When you're all playing with that ball, and if you're just hitting just below the center of the ball, you're going to create backspin. Okay? Now, with that being said, you're not really thinking about that. You're not thinking about, let me hit just below the center of the ball. Now you're trying to see the ball, square it up, hit it, and if you get on plane, where's the plane going to take you? Right? Even if you square that ball up perfectly and you don't create backspin and you're on plane with that ball coming in, about 8 degrees coming in, if it's a fastball coming down, that's a line drive swing on plane. Boom! Through it. That ball's going line drive that way. So even if you square it up and it knuckleballs out there, that's still a higher rate for success than a linear swing. So, I just want to debunk the, linear, the two biggest arguments that I hear for linear hitting. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I might have missed a little bit of it. Leave some comments below. I want to hear what you got to say. Let's talk about it. All right, guys. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and then join the free newsletter at YouGoProBaseball.com.